Good morning, actually good afternoon. Sun's behind me and it's, it's almost five o'clock. Uh, yeah, it's getting warm. There's some real smoke rolling in. I don't know, we've got fires in some spots and it's getting a little, little toasty. Back with more cyclocross how-tos, except uh, it's not a, not a how-to, it's more of um, how, how to prep, I guess. It actually is a how-to, but it's not how to actually do cyclocross techniques. Uh, anyways, blabbering. Figured why not today show you a little bit of what I do to train off the bike. Probably uh, middle of July, we start doing these types of plyometric style stuff and it helps us build some stuff that we can't build on the bike and also just build some stability and lots of, uh, there's a lot of underlying things that can come from this. So why not jump in, we'll walk you through some stuff that we do, build some explosivity, ex explosivity? Explosivity, it's a new word I just developed. So we'll start off with a nice little warm up that I usually do. So we usually get started by jumping rope. Now this is something I like to do to you. <laughs> little, little tired, getting fired up. Uh, this is something I like to do instead of running. I do get out and do some running, but frankly, as you guys may or may not know, I hate running, hence why I try to ride as much as possible when I'm on the bike. I know it's something that we have to do, and so why not get out, get to training on this thing. Running is something that I tend to be pretty good at. Real prepared for this, as you can tell. <laughs> like my shoe sock combo of the day. Got inspired the other day by one of the posts from the boys at The Athletic. So I figured why not bust out the old summer zigzags. Where was I? So I have to say that running actually is one of my strong suits in cycling. If that even makes any sense. Running, running's a strong point in my bike racing. Now we'll transition to, whew, get me fired up. Kind of explosive jumps. We're gonna start with skipping. Now a few weeks, um, probably this isn't all something we do in the same day, but a few weeks into it, we're just gonna start at a basic skipping motion. Because if we establish that muscle memory on getting the routine down and the rhythm of skipping, and then we're gonna progress into more of a vertical jump. Literally, we just do a basic skip just like you would have done back in grade school. Started out just skimming our feet, getting our rhythm down, feeling comfortable on our feet, light on our feet, being able to establish just good placement and know when it's gonna happen. And then what we're gonna do is work into more of a vertical jump skip. So we're still gonna be getting that skipping rhythm down, but then we're gonna become explosive and we're gonna start to jump upward with each skip. So as we land, we immediately jump up and we land and we jump up with the next foot and we land and we jump up with the next foot. And we're building explosiveness out of the legs to progress into what we want for cross and explosiveness out of the turns. Next up, what we can do is we'll work into a vertical, kind of like a forward lunge jump. So we're gonna keep our feet planted, we're gonna keep our, our hands about our waist level, and just explode from our legs forward, jumping forward, and then we're gonna lift up, and as we jump, again land. And without moving, as soon as we land, do it again and lunge forward and do it again and lunge forward. And this is gonna be one, really good for the core and good for the placement. So as we land, we wanna absorb it and then squat and jump and land and squat and jump. And so it's this constant moving forward from boom to boom to boom. And it's all legs, butt, core. It's all stuff that we want as we get fatigued into bike racing, it's gonna help build that, that sort of, whoa, coming in hot. Um, it's gonna build that uh, that strength that we want throughout our our uh, our core region. Yeah. All right. And here we've got 12 pound. Uh, we got 12 kilo kettlebell. And what we're gonna do with said 12 kilo kettlebell is infinite. So it's a little bit different than a dumbbell. If you're a skinny bike racer that doesn't know anything about kettlebells. Uh, they're not the same as dumbbells and the reason why they're not the same is because the weight shifts at all portions in the um, in the flow of the movement or the exercise and so it, it makes you fight a little bit harder and give you more stability because this ever-changing swing of the bell now 
we can start and we can do some basic just kettlebell swings we want to stay pretty planted boom 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 we don't do a lot of craziness with this we don't do crazy swings lunges um, we can do kettlebell swings in straight sets so if we want to do say you know 10 or 15 or 20 sets of those or we can do a tabata set where we start we have like say five minutes on the clock and we go 30 seconds and then 20 off and then 30 seconds on and 20 off so we end up just basically doing as many as we can in those 30 seconds and then 15 or 20 seconds off and then going hard again and if i'm incorrect on this forgive me feel free to light it up in the comments but basically it's as many as you can in the 30 second window or a 40 second window and then 15 or 20 seconds off and then again so you end up doing five sets of them and so you just knock out it just boom 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 and then we're gonna wait recover and then knock it out again boom boom next up Now, oh, there we are. Oh, here we are. Now, if by this point you haven't realized that my workout routines are pretty ghetto in my driveway, you will now, okay? So I don't have a gym, I don't have any fancy things. We're just bare bones, nitty gritty, just get it done. This is my uh, vertical jump setup that is about 20, 26 inches, 24 inches. So what we're doing, just like the skips and the vertical jumps, is we're getting ourselves in the routine of actually jumping over something, right? Used to stepping over things and hopping over this. So. For this, literally place it upright and we're gonna vertical jump just over it and over it and over it. And high knee. Non-stop, just going at it, going at it, going at it. And again, we're gonna build some explosiveness out of it and hop over something and just go back and forth and back and forth. So that's a little bit of what I do. There's a lot of parts of the puzzle that have to come together for us to uh, be able to execute a nice race, but a little bit of what we do so hopefully you've been getting after it at the gym or in your, uh, your ghetto driveway setup too like me. Get your run on, start jumping rope, get explosive. Get explosive! We'll be back tomorrow with more on the bike stuff and uh, hopefully this, whatever it is, blows through. Delta Breeze, let's get it. All right guys, we'll see you tomorrow with more fun action. It's gonna be it, over and out. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace!